Today we're doing something very exciting, very fresh, very different. I'm gonna be spooky for the very first time here. Yes, you heard me correctly, spooky. Yes, it is halfway to Halloween, but I know what you're thinking. You're doing a Halloween look. Not necessarily. Today on Bitchin' Transformations, we're gonna do one of my favorite characters that I love and is near and dear to my heart. I'm talking about the icon, the legend, the one that's obsessed with the ring, the precious little being that is Gollum, AKA Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. So if you wanna watch me transform myself from this into and keep on watching. Well, if you haven't liked, comment, or subscribed on this video, f you. Do it now. I want you to like it. I want you to subscribe to it. I want you to hit the thumbs up button. Especially if you want me to see me pilot a destruction vehicle and run over things. And I need 100,000 uh, subscribers to do that. And I think I can get there with your help. Imagine me in a wig piloting a tank. I think that'd be amazing. Today's makeup tutorial is gonna incorporate a lot of prosthetics. I know y'all like to see me on Dragula and I did different things, but I'm doing a lot of prosthetics today. So if you are interested in prosthetics or more horror style makeup, stay tuned because you might pick up a trick if you want to be a demon instead of just being Gollum. You know, they're kind of similar. One might rob you because uh, you hold a precious thing in your pocket. Or the other one might just be trying to steal your soul. You know, they're, they're similar but different at the same time. So first things first, you gotta shave. Golem really doesn't have a beard and I currently don't have my mustache. Can we have a moment of silence where my mustache is no longer with us? We miss you. First things first, we gotta prep the skin. I'm gonna use some moisturizer and then a primer that works for my skin type, but use whatever works for you. And then I'm gonna make sure my hair is slicked back and ready for the bald cap. Now I'm using a bald cap that's gonna dissolve with acetone, but I'm gonna apply it using some spirit gum or KD-151 hair wig glue. And then I'm also gonna use Prozade in the process as well. Now we're applying the bald cap. We're gonna slip it on and make sure our edges are slicked back with some hairspray. Then I'm going to carefully place it over, get around the ear, be very careful, take your time with this. So it doesn't move, I'm using an adhesive to kind of glue it. And then I will later take an acetone and blend the edge to make it seamless. So I started with one ball cap and I realized, you know what? Let's double the pleasure and double the fun. So I added another one on top off camera. Ooh, I know I'm evil. And now I'm gonna glue it down with some spirit gum and then I'm gonna dissolve the edges with some acetone before we go to our face prosthetic. Now I gotta glue down some prosthetics. This is gonna be fun. So I'm taking this eyebrow piece, I'm kinda of mapping it on my face where I want. I decided to draw something and I was like, you know what, okay, I'm just gonna wing it. So I'm taking some prosane, laying it down on the prosthetic before I apply it to my face. In hindsight, I just wished I used spirit gum, but I think it worked really good with the prosade. And then um, I'm also taking some spirit gum on the earpieces and tacking them on. Then I'm stacking some prosade on the outer edges just to try to make them as seamless as I can. If you have latex, that will work too. All right, now we're busting out the big guns. And by that mean an airbrush gun. I'm gonna load it in with a mixture of these four beautiful alcohol-based paints. And I'm gonna rub alcohol through the airbrush gun and we're just gonna spray all over my body to make sure we get even coats. It's best to work in sections. Take your time, it will take some layers, but you'll get it done. And you'll get a seamless, flawless finish. Then I'm going over with a chromatic color to give me some shine, because I've been a slimy little bag that Groblin for my whole life. I'm going in with multiple colors with multiple palettes. I'm using an alcohol-based palette. I'm also using a bruise wheel and some eyeshadows. Whatever we got laying around the house will work. I'm darkening the inner corners of my ears as well as my eyes. I'm adding lines and more dimensions to my face because I've been an old, ugly hobbit and been stuck in the cave for decades. Eons. Vinkle's not really bald, so we're gonna add some hair. I'm taking some old white wig hair that I had around. I cut it up and I'm just laying it over top of some adhesive. It's actually the same adhesive we used on the prosthetics earlier. So I'm just laying that down, sticking it down, placing it where I want, have fun with this. And then I'm gonna muddy myself up by using some spray mud. Woo, well let's get those big old beady blue eyes on. I'm gonna pop on some contacts. These are my favorite pair. I think you've seen them a couple times here on my channel. I'm gonna add some shimmer to the lid to be a beautiful ghoul. I'm also gonna coat the under part of my eye and the top part of my eye in a beautiful red eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna tight line my waterline with a darker red. 
Lastly, I'm gonna do some lips. Gotta have some ghoulish lips. I've been sucking on them fish bones in the caves for decades. So let's get into the fantasy with this ugly murky water lip. And how I'm achieving this is because I don't have a lip color like this, so I'm gonna make my own with the alcohol-based palette we used earlier. Wow, I got this huge into my look. Wow, I feel like you One second. Well, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will come find you. I know precious knows where you are.